Okay guys, today uh, our first training on the star plan is called Do you want to sell a star plan? Okay, so the star plan, our fertilization and seeding programs uh, with Canadian Properties. I'm very excited to be promoting this. My name is Ben Stewart, founder and CEO of the program. Um, star plan, um, in terms of our of our direct sales program, we're out there, we're selling aerations. Star Plan is a great opportunity to upsell, um, not only to give the customer better products, give the customer more branding and deepening our brand here at Canadian Properties, but also an opportunity for you to earn a lot more money from the same client that you're working with. So, I wanna talk about, do you want to sell a Star Plan? And a couple tips, it's really simple. Tip number one, do you want to sell a Star Plan? So, you are not going to sell star plans. You are not going to upsell star plans unless it's top of mind, unless it's something that you actually want to do. So it's really simple to be out there and on a link aerating 10 lawns and just be focusing on the aeration. That's what makes you really good at aeration. But if you do want to sell star plans, you have to actually have the will. So number one is you need to have the will. You need to have the will to want to sell them. If you have the will to want to sell them, you'll bring it up with the customers. Okay. If you bring it up to the customers, you have a shot. Now, just because you're bringing up the customers, does that mean you're gonna sell them? Probably not. You might trip over one or two every day or so, every couple days, simply by someone saying, oh yeah, fertilizing, seeding, you're already aerating, yeah, do that too, or what else do you have? And I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of customers asking that. But you're not gonna sell them consistently until first you want them. Unless you wanna sell them, unless you have a will to sell them. So number one is will. That just comes down to thinking about it, I'm with a client, bring it up, number one. Number two, knowledge, product knowledge. You're gonna be listening to Mr. Matt McDonald, he's the National Service Director on one of these videos. He's gonna be talking about the types of seeds we use. He's gonna be talking about the type of fertilizer we use. We have top of the line products, and I'm not gonna steal any of his thunder on that information, about top of the line product and you need to be extremely knowledgeable not only in the product we have and what we can give the customer but the process that we use starting with the aeration followed by the fertilizing and the seeding and watering the lawn and, and thickening the lawn. You need to know all of these aspects. The more you know about basic lawn care, the more information you can give to that customer, the more value you're creating. So without that knowledge, you're simply showing a flyer with a price. You know, and to be able to sell star plans effectively, the customer needs to have a perceived value higher than the price. If they have a perceived value for what they're getting higher than the price, they buy. So it's really, really simple, okay? But you need the product knowledge. How are you gonna get that product knowledge? You're gonna listen to Mr. McDonald. You're gonna read uh, gardening books and lawn care books. Uh, you're gonna go online and, and seek out more information. You're gonna listen in your morning meetings. We're here with a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of experience to be able to pass that on to you, but you need to actually take that in. So number two is knowledge. The third, and just equally as important as the other two, is professionalism. If you do not possess professionalism, you're gonna have a very tough time selling a star plans. Now, you can come to the door, you can have a just a regular random baggy red CPS shirt and jogging pants and a backwards hat and you can still step 20 lawns in aeration. I hate to say that on the video, but you can because you're there with the customer, they see you, they see you've just done their neighbor, they see the aerator and they say, oh, he's aerating too. Yeah, okay, well, he looks like a little kid running around. Sure, I don't mind paying him $50, $60 to aerate the lawn. You're able to do that if you have energy, but if you want to sell a star plan, please remember you're only doing one part of that sale today. You're only aerating the lawn. So there's three, four, five, six hundred dollars or more still to be um, completed, but you've only actually completed fifty, sixty dollars. So in order to be able to sell effectively and consistently, you actually have to have that professionalism and you have to have that belief and trust from the customer. Now, if you were a customer, if you own a beautiful home and you were gonna part ways with five, six hundred dollars for your lawn care, do you wanna give it to the little kid with the jogging pants, the fubu, and the backwards hat? You wouldn't. You'd wanna give it to a person in a golf shirt, a hat, someone that's professional, someone that approaches, uses correct terminology, okay, and speaks professionally. So, to recap, if you wanna be effective in selling star plans, you have to first, do you wanna sell a star plan? If you don't have the will, you're not gonna sell star plans. Number two, you need to have the knowledge. If you have the knowledge, 
You can actually explain it. You can build trust. You can build value. And number three, finally, you got to look good. You got to come prepared. You have to be professional in the way you speak and the way you uh, transact with the customer. So hope this helps you guys out. Three different tips for the uh, start plan sales and let's sell some start plans. Take it easy.